And slapped from the air as Falcon. Plays it in here for Alidou. And that did come off. Sarah Dablitz, who slid into perfection. Excellent block. First corner of the game then. Carol Costa is one of those forwards. Second top scorer domestically for Benfica this season. Gasper. Can't make something of it. The German. Never present in there for the Portuguese sides. Filipe Apatiao has selected her more than anybody else for the club this season. Achebe tough in the tackle, but the break of the ball goes for Majri. And an opportunity here for the cutback as Lisa Mer stayed on side. Bodies on the line for Benfica. And once again, they managed to quell the Leon attempts, but the flag's raised in any case. Great work from Cascarino down the right. And they were queuing up in blue. Lisa Mer. And from that angle, looking like she'd strayed maybe half a yard. This one there has broken the trap this time. Diani's the one in the middle. Basha with the shots. Comes to this one The first serious bit of work for Elena Pulse. Luis Omera has been scoring at a very impressive rate. And then the D1 are came up this season. Hasn't replicated it in the Champions League so far. One goal in this competition compared to nine. As Leon continue in pursuit of their domestic crown. Chances which maybe brings Benfica not quite back down to earth because they've been in a battle from the start, but they've certainly been well in it and will continue to be. Side and it shows there's Horan again. Cascarino with Les Omer. Davidson grappling away, but Leon our winning position back in the blink of an eye here. Marjorie. All is fair from Lucia Alves. Is Diani broken the trap? Flags down. 
and Beyonce, first corner of the game. stage of the Champions League for Benfica. Looking to frustrate the eight-time winners. Basha clips. Horan loitering. Here's Eli Carpenter. And it's headed up comfortably into the arms of Pals. Leon beginning to flex their muscles here after a fairly slow start. Tiani has been paid very close attention to by Leicester Aujo. There's a Chibi. Costa takes a chance and it doesn't pay off. Here's Horan. Lovely reverse for Cascarino. Able to gather. And breezing pass to Chibi. Well, it's been a very busy couple of minutes for Lena Pals. And this Benfica rear guard. They may have started on the front foot, but they're being forced further and further back here. Mascarino beginning to enjoy herself on the right side. <laughs> Flicked up, but not away sufficiently. Casper marking the front post. As in Bok. Takes a moment to try and recover from what seems to be a knock to the face here. <laughs> Incidental collision with Powell's as Leon's impending delivery arrives. And Lindsay Horan is going to be penalised. And we'll see Alves this time. Takes a moment, but goes a bit further than in Bok by making sure everybody knows about it. Lindsay Horan does have a determined, sometimes aggressive streak in her. She was sent off in the group stage against Bran of Norway. And the Norwegians eventually came back to draw 2 2 and a surprise result. And it's a painful one for Alves, an experienced Portuguese international. Sonia Bonpastor has put Horan straight back into our team this evening after the midfielder came back from the Gold Cup, which was won by her country, USA. Horan scored the winner in the final against Brazil. They started by causing Milan some problems in their own thirds, Benfica, they are starting now to feel the presence of one of Europe's best. In the big stadium this evening, the Benfica supporters. And across the Ponte. 25 the April. 
to the south of Estadio de Luz. This is the big occasion, calls for the big treatment. Really well taken by Marjorie who Bandiani for hand. Here's Kika Nazareth. For Alves who looks to be okay. And there's somewhere wanting the pass back from Horan. Uchebi was able to read her mind. Quarter final. Earlier finished Ajax nil, Chelsea three. The winner of that tie will play. The winner of Bran against Barcelona. PSG are hacking. Will vie for the right to play the winner of this tie. week so not long to hang around Falcon facing Carpenter up on hand from Kika Nazareth Interested. Raul sweeping up as Uchibi was steadily out of possession. Ooh. Another collision which causes immediate concern. And Lucia Alves took an knock to her face just a couple of minutes ago. She required treatment, she's down again. But the landing looked so awkward. If it's Selma Basha who's down. Substitute left back. Perla Maroni immediately told to listen up. Oh. If Selma Basha gets up and walks away from that, she's pretty fortunate. It looks like it could have been a lot worse for her, and it's a second difficult collision in the space of a few minutes for Lucia Alves to take as well. She's been through the wars in the opening half hour. Look at Patio's team haven't really been generally. They've held Leon at arm's length for the most part. And thankfully, Selma Basha looks okay. And aware enough to realise that she's going to be given a yellow card. It was a clumsy bordering on reckless arrival to the scene. 
Lewin will be happy, she's OK, she's a real threat going forward, Selma Basha. Consistently the player among the Leon ranks who provides the most assists. Almost in double figures for that particular tally this season. Just come straight back on here to try and pick the pocket of Araujo. Chiqui. Should be dealt with by Mboku. Puts Endler under a bit of pressure. Court. The Spaniard drifting away from Carpenter. A chance to release it. Came and went. Almost as quickly as Leon regained the ball with Carpenter. Then thwarted. Ashima rodded forwards. It's an absolutely exquisite sliding tackle from Davritz. <laughs> Got back to her feet almost in one full motion. There's Majri for Leon. Uchibi, the front post hurdle that's too tall. And well, mind you, it was a pretty low cross from French international. Cascarino. Managing to untie the knot she found herself in. She says our side demonstrated their ability against Barcelona in the impressive 4 4 draw in the final day of the group stage. They can beat Leon here, that would go one step further. Team to score four against Barcelona in more than two and a half years. This comes the caveat that Barcelona were already through in the final day of a group stage. It has one of the continent's best right up there with Leon and Chelsea. Success in this competition as well. It was the sort of result that can make football fans take notice a bit like Brand taking points from Neon in the group stage or Slavia Prague as well in the final match day, which comes with the same caveat as Barcelona's. Here's Cascarino through, thwarted again by the Chibi. That's developing into an interesting tussle. Holding in strongly again, Ali Duke. Working hard to keep possession. There's Carpenter. Beautiful cross. Masri unable to divert goalwards. First opportunity in a little while for Leon. Horan was arriving as well, she must have been screaming for it. <laughs> They're not bothered, Benfica, are they, about trying to Send it straight on to the Leon defence. They're a confident bunch. Feel for Patel has said that they want to get to where Leon are. And that's 
to meet with it, they can do it. Carter And strongly on Ali Do. Cascarino scans quickly, she had to. Cascarino crosses, Le Sommer. Effort on target for the centre forwards. Our second of the game. She scored in three Champions League finals for Lyon. Looking to put them in front in the quarters. There's Vanessa Gilles. Canadian with her periscope up, opts to take no chances. Tablets. Luscious. Touch and pass loose. <laughs> Miss hit the ball forward, lands comfortably. Or Benfica. There's Costa. Shemmy's one way, drifts the next. Ali do. Likewise. On the third for Falcon. Looking Nazare. Trotting deep, she's one of the... Attackers in the Benfica sides who is not scared to drop and take responsibility to link the play. They could do with her staying forward as well, though. She's the top scorer in Portugal this season with 12. It's looking to spray one for Alves, but it's read by Basha. Costa for Davidson. Less I've seen since her introduction, replacing Reisler. But she looks up superbly here with Alves. A sort of excitement from the home supporters. Almost comes for Falcon. And it should be. There's a rush of blood to the head. And the contrition. Proves that she knows it. The first dangerous moment in some time for Leon. When Fika started well, but they've had to play second fiddle for the last 15 20 while Leon press. And Cascarino is trying to burrow her way through here. And across comes Araujo. Excellent reading of the game, and she's done well enough to make sure the ball stays with the red jerseys. straight back into the reckoning at Lyon after our ACL rehabilitation was complete. And she's got a task on her hands this evening, Cascarino, with Echibi in stern, determined moods as part of the Benfica back three. Danny's foot wasn't really that high, Araujo was stooping. Leon have scored four goals on more than a dozen separate occasions this season. Being stifled by Benfica in Portugal. But there's another problem here. This would not be a pleasant development for Benfica Kika Nazareth needs to be replaced. And much like Nicole Reisler, who was replaced earlier, 
kick has a huge reason. Probably more so than anybody else. Fai. And Fika are at this stage of the competition. Is that a hand on the shoulder? Slightly swatted in the face by Diani. A couple of winners in the group stage. There's Rosengard and Frankfurt. Massive contribution to the cause. If you got at the stage of the tournament for the first time, remember. And that's a loose pass which allows the opportunity for Benfica to break clear. for Faria, who is not an attack-minded player. She's the grafter and the tackler in there in midfield, proven by the interception. And that's excellent work once again. Davidson this time robbing Gilles. Looking for a quick second. Oh, it's a tame, tame effort. And with Kika Nazareth in support. Massive opportunity for the Canadian who just had to raise her head here. Oh, the Leon cage is rattled. Leon unbeaten across 90 minutes this season. And they were knocked out of the Coupe de France by FC Fleury on penalties earlier this month. Across 90 minutes in 28 games, nobody has managed to get the better of them. Marjorie's cross, so oh, Diani was loitering, well headed clear by Costa. from the seven added. A number of injury stoppages in the first half of them, but understandable to see more than half a dozen 
to be played. That's well read by Uchibi here. It's been excellent so far for Benfica. That's a loose one straight back to Carpenter. Cascarino. Oh, that's just supreme defending. No hustle forthcoming. Marjorie is shocked at that. And she almost brings down Nazareth, who skips away from one and two. Now, Maladou brought down. Tabrits, the offender. Potentially lucky to avoid the name in the book there, Sarah Dabritz. That was pretty cynical. Chevy Falcon manages to evade the couple of blue jerseys in our path. Majri for Dabritz. Leon could use her driving power and intensity. Marsha. Diani, who's barely had a kick, it must be said. Doesn't take a rocket scientist to try and figure out what Lisa Rauho is inferring. She's been in a game there in the left-hand side, Diani. The competition's joint top scorer of the season with five. She's not managed to forage out any chances in Lisbon in this first half. It's been an impressive display from the back three. Araujo Costa and Uchibi. Previously, Late chance here then for Selma Basha to make life difficult for the Benfica rear guards. The hosts have left nobody up. They have a lead to protect. Down from Gilles and Achimi has to thumb clear. And Costa was taking no prisoners in her quest to make contact. Chibi's having an excellent game. She was the player of the match against Frankfurt, and that huge result in the group stage. In Bok Long, Gil arriving, she opts to let it bounce, and that's where it falls apart for Leon. Dropping wide, regardless, but defends the corner. Rahul long. Davidson looking for Ali Do, who might burrow her way through here for a second. She's just to. Uh, a filled. Nearly Carpenter.
She's been kept pretty quiet, it must be said, by Leon. She's a huge threat for Benfica. Top scorer on 23 this season. Gillen strongly. Diani. Falcone. Flanking up. And the Spaniard does well enough. Yes. Well, this is developing very interestingly indeed. Andrea Faria has made more appearances than anyone else for Benfica. The goal scorer of the goal that separates Benfica and record holders, Leon, at the Estadio de Luz at halftime. It's Benfica 1, Leon 0. No. With Benfica 1-0 no up against Leon. And they could have taken the lead in the very early stages of the match when Falcon had a shot well saved by Christian Eindler and onto the post. Perhaps a sign of the task ahead, not just for Benfica, as was expected, but Leon as well. Hit back, Leon came. They managed to get a shot and target through Eugenie Le so it fell to her fortuitously. The finish. Not quite up to scratch for the French striker. He needs just a couple of goals to become the third player to hit the 50 landmark in Champions League history. Cascarino was heavily involved for Leon in the first half. A good tussle developing between her and Uchibi. Her shot or cut back here was well saved and sent away from danger by Lena Powells. A lot of the space at the front post ignored by Cascarino. Not the last opportunity Leon would have of the first half. Missomer not really heavily involved for the visitors, much like Diani. That's probably the clearest opportunity she had. Well met in the half volley, but Powell's equal to it. Benfica's goal came from what looked like a situation well in the hands of Benfica. Vanessa Gilles' pass intercepted by Andrea Faria. And with Gilles trying to atone, it was slotted away just superbly from the Portuguese midfielder. He's been with Benfica the whole way in their very short history. She's come with them from the bottom to the quarter-finals of the Champions League. And now a goal scorer at this level, which isn't her game. She's a tough tackling midfielder. The record appearance maker for the club. It's her moment to remember. Now, it has been a close game overall. The possession actually more in balance with the hosts, which is quite unexpected. Attempts on target pretty close as well. It's been a closely fought contest. And we'll bring you the second half right after the break. Looks like there might be a couple of changes for Leon. If not now, then in the very near future. Benfica leading the eight times champions. Now one goal to nil at half time. Andrea Faria, the goal scorer. Probably not a more fitting one in Lisbon this evening. Elsie de Mornay and 
Vicky Peshaw look to have resumed their place with the rest of the substitutes after warming up separately with a coach. And these words of encouragement from Greg Jim Bock. Can't really fall on deaf ears. This is the Leon side who are unbeaten this season. Over 90 minutes, they were knocked out of the Coupe de France on penalties, but in 90 minutes, nobody's got the better of them. Sonia Bonpastor was pretty vocal in her assessment, her strong appraisal of Benfica. She kept an eye on their progression over the last couple of years. But this is their first time at this stage of the Champions League, and Andrea Faria has them ahead. lead that could have been added to by Chandra Davidson with a big, big chance a couple of minutes after. <laughs> Sense of deja vu here, perhaps, for Leon. They've been knocked out at the quarter-final stage in two of the last three seasons. And they haven't done anywhere near enough so far to hurt Benfica. But here's an Everton goal at the start of the second half from Horan, which bounces comfortably into the arms of Lena Powells. Sent forward by Lucia Alves, who had a tough time in the first half, a couple of Knocks to the heads. Very old school style with her. Jersey tucked right all the way in. She's taking another so one here. It's time to. The opposite end of her body. And the full weight of Emil Majri's left leg all the way down on it. That can be run off easily. Sure. That could be another loose back pass, which Davidson thought she could be on to. But the clearance works out well for Diani, who swapped sides with Cascarino for the second half. And to give the Chibi a tougher time, Diani continues infield. Just out of Wissomer's reach. Leon had the best defence in the group stage. Five goals conceded. Scored the second highest amount of goals with 25. Barcelona managed a couple more. This is quite the feat that Benfica are on their way to if they can stop Leon getting back into this game. And they're looking for their own second right now. Thalidou for Nazareth. For Araujo, with options in sight. Another turn from Kika Nazareth, World Cup scorer for Portugal against Vietnam. There goes Falcon. Carpenter, her problem. Ali do. She fancies the byline and the touch. Goes against Benfica. Diani doing her defensive duties pretty solidly.
Chelsea. 3-0 winners away to Ajax earlier today, remember? The winner of that tie will play the winner of Bran against Barcelona. Hacking and PSG play tomorrow. The winner of that will play whoever progresses from this tie. And that's a loose cleaning switch. Gives Leon the opportunity with Cascarino, who tried to set her sights. That's really well done by Lucia Alves. So tenacious, the fullback. Not just to carry on in the face of the foul, but to get there. Not sure Selma Basha fancied that. What's happened in the first half, but instead of fancying a run at goal, it will mean effort from Les Sommers. Drifts wide. Dropping, skipping away from Les Sommet. No oh, his intentions read by Davritz and Davidson now doing the same. Who gets there ahead of him, Mark? Sirens blaring here for Leon. And the arrival from Gaspers deflected. Gilles wide. Oh, it was begging to be thunderstruck. Estadio de Luz waiting. And gasping as Gasper strode onto this and on target. <laughs> Something up Benfica's sleeve here, but Nazareth can't evade our first marker. That's well to play it back to Gasper. He's happy to cross. Davidson rising. Not enough purchase. A couple of opportunities of getting the way of the winter signing. Not a play from Kika Nazareth. Not a bad cross at all. In fact, a great cross from Gasper. Be a different challenge now for Christy Achibi, who's playing left centre back this evening. She is comfortable for the most part with Delphine Cascarino in the first half, but left footed Candidato Diani. Will be more interested in cutting in than drifting way towards the byline. Great Champions League campaign in general, not just this evening. Here's Ali Do. Opportunity here to play the ball wide for Alves, that's where it goes. Good ball across is dealt with by Inbok. Alves. Knocked out by. Faria, no, it's Kika. Nazareth who strode forward. How are we doing? Looking for Davidson. Faria, which she normally is not breaking through to be one on one with the goalkeeper of arguably the best team in the world. Falcon wastes no time in crossing in Bok Rises. 
Alves. And behind it goes, another Benfica corner. Starting the second half, much like they did the first on the front foot, and to the extent that Sonia von Pastor feels necessary to make a couple of changes, off comes Amel Majri. And Melshi Dumornay will get a taste of Champions League football. She hasn't been able to show her true capabilities since signing. Injury trouble has prevented that. Demaris Egurula. Not normally from the bench, but tonight indeed. And Eugenie Le Sommer will not reach the landmark of 50 goals this evening. Chevy up. Well won. Really well won by Alidou. Robbing Dumornay. Basha sends clear. Introduction. <laughs> Nicole Weisler subbed in the first half with an ankle ligament problem. That's a really painful one. We'll do forward for Davidson. Yeah, and he's quick feet. Carpenter, only one way for her to go. Really promising player Melchi Dumane, still just 20 years old, one of the best young players on the planet. Opportunity for her to make a mark on the big stage for Leon. She signed from Stad Rim last summer, but injury trouble has stopped her from really impressing. Here's Basha. Braujo. They were not just a third player, but find Maria Alidou. Once again, Leon. This time, Agurola de Maris slightly. Behind play. Kika. Davidson maybe coming back from an offside area here. Back in Lisbon after some time spent previously with Sporting. She's picked up the Portuguese lessons again. But is able to speak, as she calls it, football Portuguese. She knows the lingo and the terms to get her way around the pitch in contact and communication with her teammates. Here's Basha. Cascarino outside. Here's Horan. This he is her. Basha's cross. Diani's header. Comfortable save for Lena Powell's. The first time that she's been forced into meaningful action in this second half, which is 15 minutes old now and slightly passing Leon by.
Bok in space. Maris scanning. Only to Faria. His touch was good, it wasn't read though by Falcon. Here goes Bastia, not for the first and not for the last time. And that did come off Lindsay Horan's boot. Formidable opponents for Leon, not just on the left side of the back three, but on the right as well with Araujo. Not shying away from any sort of confrontation or aggression on the park. Or an appealing for handball. Cascarino continued her run and then slides. And I hope. I think it might have been pulled back. It's a very confident defender. Nice at Alho. The Brazilian. He developed a re relationship with one of, if not the, many would say, greatest of all time, Pele, after she featured in a documentary on women's football in her homeland. It's a privilege for a young player. At the time, she's in her late 20s now. After an hour against Leon, strap yourselves in. Morin with time to turn, and that is an inch perfect through ball. And here goes Diani, he gets the better of it, GB. And once again, Lena Powell's has one hurdle too many for Leon. Dumourne collects, and Uchibi this time won't be beaten. She was vital to the progression, not just with her here. Diani, when it stayed on her right, could so easily have slipped under the sprawling legs of Powell's. Great save by Zaraho. He's given a breather. A bit of a blow to Benfica. She's been brilliant as Anasesa replaces her. Benfica defence have been. Superb so far. And it's the Leon side that have scored four goals in more than a dozen separate matches this season. Two more nays, touch, and in it goes! Finally, the breakthrough for Leon. Cascarino. Benfica have been so, so solid in defence. But the record holders have pushed and finally squeezed through the gap that was just big enough for them. And that'll frustrate Filippa Patel because she's heavily outnumbered Cascarino. Costa ball watching. Wonderful flick from Dumornay. And Leon's leveller. Might just take some of the wind out of Benfica's sails here. Tamaris. No way forward.
flag up against Diani. It's a wonderful personal moment for Cascarino as well. She had almost a year out after suffering an ACL rupture at the end of last season. Missed the entirety of the first half of this campaign and just back into the team in recent weeks. She was the most impressive attacker in the Leon ranks in the first half as well. Certainly caused more problems than Lisa Mayer and Diani. It's an injection of confidence for Leon. And that will be a free kick and a yellow card for Achieve. The proposition she faces is a different one now with Diani over there. And third Carpenter too hot to handle. the more you watch it. And a Powell sand. But if you got desperate to avoid another concession. Basha's territory. For Horan, comfortable for Pauls. <laughs> Substitute Anna Sesha. Sent off at the weekend. And the 1 1 draw domestically. It's a rare. Incidents of points dropped for Benfica, 1-1 against Damainch, their second draw of the campaign. Really intriguing set of fixtures coming up for Benfica throughout April. They still have to play Sporting in the top flight. There are five clear of them at the moment, and that league meeting comes in between the first and second leg of their semi-final against Sporting in the Cup. And if they do manage to make their way past Lyon, intertwined with all that will be the Champions League semi-finals. Diani stayed on side. Horan sniffing, Costa clearing, not well though, Dabritz! Oh, a matter of inches for the midfielder who has found her scoring touch in recent weeks, 6-6 six six for the German. Oh, and it doesn't get much closer. Or in on the turn. Stoppage allows another change. Three of them for the hosts. Andrea Falcon, one of those departing. Scorer will be in the club's folklore forever. The first time they've managed to find an act in a Champions League quarter final. Kika Nazareth also replaced. In comes Katarina Amado.
Adrian Norton. Another addition for Benfica. As Leon look to hit them where it hurts while they're unsettled. Davidson stays on her feet, strong in the challenge against Carpenter. Achebe. And that's a loose one, though, that goes Diania Sniff, but Achebe mops up. Two more Nate. There's the power, the strength, and the grace as well. Powell's the grateful recipient on this occasion. Strong in the attempted head up at the bounce falls for Leon. Damaris. Short journey for Benfica to get here. They played their first season of football in the Portuguese second division, 2018-19. They were promoted at the first time of asking, quite incredibly, really. A couple of eye-watering results on their debut season. 28-0 against Ponte de Freilas and 32-0 later that season against CP Pego. He eventually reached a stage where they'd scored 257 goals and conceded none. It's quite ridiculous, really. I'm not sure if that's in a positive sense. They've managed to win three top-flight titles as well since they were promoted at the first time of asking. 0 to 60 for the club in the women's game. And holding one of the continent's best here. Cascadero drifting away from Norton. Leon have the numbers. Diani's waiting. And once again, Lena Powell's denies her. An inspired performance from the German. Diani lacking the conviction, which has seen her become the competition's joint top scorer this season. Basha crosses, so oh, and just wide from Lindsay Horan, advancing from midfield. She is not phased, that's fair to say. Left, and that's a, a fantastic double save from Lena Pals to adjust her feet. And De Mornay for Horan. Carpenter, the cavalry. Carpenter striking. A red deflection. Too many for either side.
Too much just for De Mornay. Half of Sonia Bonpastor's family might be pretty happy with proceedings so far. Portuguese on our mother's side, there are Benfica fans. Not a poignant draw for her. Consistently linked with the Chelsea job over the last little while as well. What does the future hold for Sonia Bon Pastor? And Hayes heading to the US women's national team. There's Basia. Cascarino scored the equaliser. Gordon dancing away from Sesa. Winning the foul. She put Leon 2 1 up against Slavia Prague on the last day of the group stage before the Czech scored an unlikely equaliser. Substandard evening for Edidia to Diani. A few chances through her grasp. This is kept alive by Horan and Bishop! This one short lived. It will be reviewed. Eva Augustan reminds the Leon players that there will be a look at this. Lindsay Horan does look like she has strayed onto the wrong side of the defence, which is bad news for Vicky Besho. Maybe another angle will prove more conclusive, it should. And indeed offside. Wow. Besho putting the pressure. On a Chibi who has faced most of our challenges with the utmost confidence and consistency this evening. What a moment that must have been for Vicky Bencho. Perennial substitutes for Leon. Almost giving them, giving them the lead. With her first involvement. Yes, she is again. Down the line, Horan has Dumornay there. Clip towards Dabritz! And this one counts for Leon. They've been banging the door for some time now. And Dabritz, in the midst of an incredible goal scoring run. Is at it again. Besho involved. Not the goal scorer this time. Horan doing supremely well to pick a spot. And Dabritz normally grabbing the game by the scruff in the middle of the park has developed quite the habit of popping up when Leon needs her. And that has popped the Estadio de Luz balloon. From behind, Leon Leet in Lisbon.
and Benfica burrow their way through again. All this back to our feet. The cross is dangerous. Up goes Gil. Well won back by Paletta. He can't forage the corner. All this will pop up here, though. Afforded the chance to come inside. Too much on it for Ali Du, who, for a player of such prowess and goal scoring form, has been kept at bay very well by Leon this evening. Second leg of this game. Eight days away, a week tomorrow. The winner will play PSG or Haken. They will prevail between Leon's domestic rivals and the Swedes. The balance of probability is certainly weighted PSG's way. Leon out of this tournament as well. A few years back now. Kikadesho has taken a knock. Sent on to make an impact and well, she certainly hasn't disappointed Sonia Bompastor in that sense. Almost giving Leon the lead with her first touch after coming on. Mere seconds after coming on, in fact. The margins are fine for Lindsay Horan, but she was off. And her knockdown. Tucked home by Besho, ruled out. And then Besho setting up Horan for the cross, which was nodded in by Sarah Dabritz. Previous two meetings between Benfica and Leon both finished 5 0 to Leon back in the group stage a few years ago. This one a lot closer. Leon have had to really fight their way to get into the lead, not just on level terms. of titles, a Champions League and a cup for Sonia Bonpastora at Leon. How many more will follow in each sense? Not a cup this season. FC Fleury knocking Leon out. Just the other weekend. Penalties. Does the future hold for Sonia Bonpastor? Given permission to chat with Chelsea earlier this season. Horan with a bit of room, Dabritz to her left, the opportunity now maybe to kill the first leg. And Besho hobbling back into position, which maybe puts her off, putting her foot through that with an effort at goal. And is maybe allowing Benfica the opportunity to try and counter, but the blue shirts are back quickly. of goals against FC Fleury in the league at the weekend, Sarah Dabritz. She's a mile on side.
gently taken, but convincing header at the same time. Benfica's forays forward have become few and far between. It's, they've maybe been gifted an opportunity to break through here with Alves, who takes the early option for Davidson. De Mornay. Gasper, too tough. Equaling a record this evening at the quarter final stage of the Champions League for the 15th time, matching Arsenal. They're sensationally knocked out of this year's competition by Paris FC back in the late stages of the summer into autumn. Maker as far as the home support and Eva Augustine are concerned. If he can manage to score four against Barcelona in the group stage, can they find their way to a second against Leon, which would leave this tie? Maybe not in the balance ahead of the second leg with Leon, certainly heavy favourites to prevail at home, but it would leave a faint question mark over proceedings at worst. Oh, this has been non-stop. Paleta evades the space to allow Gasper to receive. Hesitancy from Costa and Carpenter will gallop forward. No second invite needed. Do more And just as it looked, reached the last line of defence too early. She's got problems since she came on, the 20 year old. French top flight revelation of the season. Last term playing for our Stad Dream. It's given Benfica more to think about than Eugenie Le Sommer did. In the first half, a couple of team efforts and goal from the experienced forward. Closely fought. First half has turned into not quite a demolition. Well, they are not by any stretch, but they have made their presence felt and then some flexing their muscles for at least half an hour straight now. Never since they managed to bring themselves level through Cascarino. The traffic has been flowing in one way. Energetic start to the game and to the second half for Benfica. Potentially catching up with the hosts. 
Luther Patti on the center side must be perfect to win this game. They've been good. That's perfect, a long way off. Davritz might sniff out a third here. Cascarino. Chance for the third and Horan straight at Pals. That would have almost certainly put Benfica to bed. One goal deficit, never know. Leon likely to score at home. They've only failed to score across 90 minutes once this season against FC Florian, the Coupe de France. But Benfica have shown tonight they have the capacity and the ability to cause problems. Across 90 minutes, maybe a bridge too far. Bati, who I don't really know contact. I don't think Davidson is close enough to it. Oh. Brief slight contact. Basha takes no chances. The hand of contrition. Probably necessary. Supporter might have taken the full force of that. Alves, the flat throw. And comes Eva Augustin at a rate of knots to flash the yellow for Lucia Alves, who has maybe had that coming for the majority of the game. Full-blooded player. Cascarino into the book as well. She did give a pretty forceful shove after the jersey tug. To the ears of Sonia Bond past the orbit. Cesar slides in. And is there any need for a risky ball into the box here? Not as far as we are concerned. And Bok. Asha fancies it now. And the strike from Horen. Brief shot for handball. Carpenter. Intercepted. Cecia just keeps the ball in play. Uchibi. Paletta. Half on the half turn. This has to be it for Benfica. And the minutes have turned to seconds. And Benfica's efforts come up just short in this first leg. Leon's prowess prevailing. Cascarino with the leveller. A tidy finish after some good work down the right-hand side. And then Sarah Dabritz, Leon's goal scorer of the moment, with her seventh in seven games. A nice header into the bottom corner. And the turnaround for this first leg is complete. Filippo Patia was it. 
in first on the touchline and other team on the park as well to be admired. They gave it everything, but the golf just a tad too wide. And at the Estadio de Luz, in the first leg of this quarter final, it finishes Benfica 1, Leon 2. to change something throughout the game, Leon. Nafika had a number in that first half. Eugenie Lissomer was having no joy. Diani likewise on the left or the right hand side. She tried both. And a blow as well. And the first half was Benfica losing Nicole Reisler and then Andrea Faria managing to score. A memorable goal for Benfica. They are first at this stage of the Champions League in their history. He did demonstrate in stages the ability that Philippa Patiao says her team have. They're aspiring to reach Leon's level. Sensational performance and goal from Lena Powells because Leon really turned it up in the second half. The attempts on target were pretty much level at half time. And Leon turned it up in the second half with total attempts and on target the possession just edged their way as well a fascinating encounter Fika won Leon 2 a close final score ahead of next week's second leg